What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A Nicole. And I am here to do a reading, a general reading for my collective. So, hey, 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 everybody. I am presently in the beautiful city of New York City. Um, I came up here for the weekend to catch a show, um, some jazz, some live music. So I brought my cards with me. Y'all know how I do. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a collective reading. I want to tell you all, this is a collective reading, right? It's not a one-to-one. -one. So what I say, it may resonate with you. It may not resonate. I want you to take what resonates. I want you to leave what doesn't. I want you to also be aware of scammers out here pretending to be me. That is not me in y'all's DMs begging for a reading. If you want to do a reading with me, and I'm going to say this, this ain't no sales pitch. This ain't, this is just me letting you all know and informing as I've been taught to do with my manifesting or my manifesto design, I probably won't be doing personal reads in the future. You know, especially as I get more into um, the new cycle that I'm going into with my new project. So if you want a personal read from me, you, you better get one now because I'm going to close it off um, probably by the summer, maybe even before then, because whew, Y'all, doing these every day and everything, it's, it's rough. And on top of my store, um, I have school. I'm, I'm in school to be a master esthetician. Um, I have four brands that I work with. I'm writing books. I just got a lot of stuff going on. So like I'm saying, it's not a sales pitch. It's not like y'all need to. I'm just informing you. If you've been wanting to book a session with me, go ahead and do so. It ain't a rush like you got to do it today. I'm just letting you all know that by the summer, most likely I will not be doing readings. It'll be strictly um, YouTube, okay? So, um, yeah. What else do I want to say? Oh, I curse y'all. I'm passionate. So, if y'all don't like that, y'all might not want to move forward with me. And that's 222 two, two. on the clock as I say that. Um, I only want to align with my target population and my target population, they understand that, look, I'm real passionate about y'all's growth and I'm real passionate about these messages and getting y'all together with love. Okay. This is a judgment free zone. I'm not here to fucking judge. I'm not here with the bullshit. I just work here. I pull the cards and I read them the way y'all spirit team want me to get them to y'all. With that being said, I've already picked out the decks. I've already pre-shuffled them, but I am a shuffler. If you've watched me, you know how I go. I shuffle before, during, and after I use the decks. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's all I have. Okay, ancestors and spirit team come through. First card out, we got the moon in reverse. Hmm. So we got some truth coming out. Hmm. Or maybe some shit that you, you're not able to see. Because the moon, it's judgment. Next. I feel like the truth is coming out about something, especially next to this judgment card. And this wasn't even the deck I wanted to start with. I wanted to start, but I, anyway, it's for a reason. So your first card, you have the moon in reverse. And then we have the judgment. And the judgment talks about an awakening, right? Um, uh, the trumpets being blown on something. The, a horn being blown on something. You being hip to something. Um, you being awoke to something. You know, a, a, a second chance at something. A wake-up call. You know what I mean? Hmm. Thank you, spirit. Hmm. Yeah, you got off on the truth about something with this moon card. The truth was shined on something. Ooh, and that's fucking hot. All of a sudden, ooh. Page of Pentacles. Okay, we like Page of Pentacles. Mm, nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. Damn, Ten of Swords. Put these motherfuckers in order. Eight, nine, ten. Ideal. What's at the bottom of the deck? Page of Wands. Hmm. I'm gonna pull one more for the second row. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I like my even numbers. Okay, let's do a second row to clarify. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Let's move these over. Magician. Hmm. Yeah, I was fucking around with a manipulator. Y'all didn't see the light. Y'all didn't see with this nine of pentacles in reverse. Let me just, let me just go on. Let me just go on. Yeah, let me just keep going. Oh, oh Lord. Ain't that what the, the lady say that mean? When she be like, oh, Lord. Three of swords in reverse. I'm liking these. Y'all been awoken to some shit. Leaving some motherfuckers behind. Four of swords in reverse. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's get into it. I should have brought my stand because I wanted to have my stand. So I, I, I need to learn how. I've been, I've been asking Kingston to do the camera. You know how you can see the cards? You look down and he'd be like, Mom. And I'd be like, Son, I need you to get that together for me, you know, at the house. So, okay. In our first position, we have the moon in reverse. Okay, so this talks about truth, you know, um, something not being hidden to you anymore, you know, not being caught up in an illusion of something anymore, you know, the wool not being um, pulled over your eyes anymore, you know, with that moon energy, the moon energy, it's darkness, right? But you have the moon that illuminates just a little bit. Shit is kind of obscure. Shit is kind of hidden because you don't have much light to see it. So you can miss it. But when this bitch is in reverse, we're not doing no more lies. We're not doing no more bullshit. And with this magician card, I feel like some of you could have been dealing with a big ass manipulator. Somebody who was lying to you. Somebody who wasn't on the up and up. You know, somebody who was on that bullshit like Chicago. You know, and with this infinity sign over this person's head, you know, they, they expected you to be in this dumbass energy forever. They were never going to change. They were never going to do all the things that you thought that they were do were going to do. It was never going to be on the fucking up and up, you know, because this person was about games. This person was about manipulating. This person was about getting their fucking way and keeping you in the dark about something. <sighs> and these motherfuckers wonder why they end up on Snap. They wonder why. I don't wonder. Next, we got judgment, followed up by the nine of pentacles. So like I say, the judgment card, that, that's about an awakening of some sort. You know, um, that is about something, uh, something being sounded on something, a horn being blown, you know, on something. So you could have, you know, found out about something and then you had to make a judgment call on it. You know, okay, so what are you going to do now? Do you have the information? And uh, I'm definitely feeling like it has something to do with this moon in reverse and this magician. You all were awakened to a manipulator in your life. You all were awakened to someone who was not on the up and up. And with this nine of pentacles in reverse backing this up, this was an energy where you were not allowed to be yourself. This was an energy where you had to either dumb yourself down you know, you had to act like, you know, somebody that you weren't or you weren't really able to really have full autonomy over who you are, you know, what you like, what you're going to go for, what you're not going to go for, none of that. And I feel like even with these two together, spirit probably called this judgment on y'all. You know, it was a lot of things, you know, that you all were doing that was getting in your fucking way of self-sufficiency that was getting in your way of autonomy, that was getting in your way of walking on your own. Because Nine of Pentacles energy, this is like, she got her own, he got his own. Miss Independent, Mr. Independent. You know, this is somebody, I'm hearing the song, I'm known to walk alone, but I'm alone for a reason. Sending me a drink ain't appeasing. You know, this is Nine of Pentacles energy. This is somebody who got their shit together. They can walk alone. They can stand alone. They can do whatever. But with this shit like in the fucking reverse, a judgment was called on y'all not living up to y'all's greatest potential. Y'all not being free to be yourself. You hiding. 
you know, you you downplaying, you being docile, you not being in this nine of pentacles energy. And I'm going to fuck y'all up because y'all know how I feel about that. Okay, to the people who listen and the new people, that's what I mean right there when I say that I curse and I also say I'm passionate about y'all's growth. I say a little shit like that. All right, 10, 10 on the clock when I say that. Page of Pentacles, Four Cups is what's next. Let's talk about this. Page of Pentacles, this is like a start you know, a, a new start at something, a new start at something that you find is valuable, a new beginning in prosperity, you know, some type of a blossoming um, abundance or something like that. Um, that's page of pinnacle energy. This is something that's really young, something that's really just starting off because it's a page, right? So when we talk about this four of cups, four of cups talks about disinterest, not being, not being interested in something, being bored by what's being offered to you. You know, being disappointed, um, not really being enthused about um, something that is even handed to you um, because it's cup energy. It could be a love offering, you know, and because it's next to this page of Pentacles energy, <laughs> it could be somebody, you know, who they ain't really got their shit together. They still a page when it comes to that Pentacle energy. You know, um, this is something that's not strong. This is something, and that's probably where your discontentment and your boredom is coming from, you know? Or for some of you, take this as it resonates. Also, y'all are really not interested in people making these love offers to you um, or trying to get to know you because you all are in your bag now. You're in this page of Pentacles energy where you're trying to make shit pop off. You're trying to get shit working abundantly from you for you. You're 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 starting to plant those seeds, you know, for abundance. But as I'm also looking at this four of cups energy, um, you see the cup here that's being offered to her with all of look, this cup got shit in it. Look, this cup got shit in it, but she focused on these three cups over here that ain't got shit in them and they piled up. So some of you are missing out on your moment to really hop into your page of pinnacle energy and really get into your fucking bag because some of you could be stuck on, you know, um, a love that didn't work out, especially if they had you in some type of third party shit, you know, get off of that. We're not dealing with that no more. Okay. I'm gonna um I'm gonna triple clarify or double clarify if I if I will with another um deck, but let me get through these first. Eight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Okay, Eight of Swords talks about being trapped, being mentally paralyzed. You know what I mean? Being in some type of mental entrapment, um, being overwhelmed by thoughts or words. You know, this could be somebody either gaslighting you or this could be your negative self-talk, babe. This could be you self-sabotaging yourself. You know, like you're not able to get into that eight of pentacles energy, which is, you know, abundance when it comes to prosperity, abundance when it comes to favor, gifts and all of that because you're in this eight of swords energy and eight is an abundance. Eight in anything that talks about infinite abundance shit. So y'all over here on the swords. So the swords is about them thoughts, baby. So while we need to be abundant with that Munty Hunty, with this page of Pentacles energy, some of y'all are abundant with that sword energy. You know what I mean? Um, overthinking something. And with this Ace of Wands, hmm. Y'all could be thinking about somebody who cheated on y'all with this Ace of Wands. You know, if it's this situation, if, you, if you're if you walking away from something, if you were in a third party, some of you could be thinking about either how they did you or who they are with now. You know, I'm going to clarify this. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like also this might be who you're walking away from. Hmm. I'm going to clarify. But we got nine of swords and then we have three of swords in reverse. So three of swords talks about a heartbreak. All right. That's what this three of swords energy is like. Oh, my God. Who the fuck? Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I thought I turned this off. Um, 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 yes. So we are in the reverse thing, the reverse three of swords. So this talks about coming out of a heartbreak. Right? Coming out of hurt. Coming out of having somebody just slice through your motherfucking heart. Um, somebody, I'm feeling, especially with 
this four of cups, this moon in reverse, magician and judgment. I'm talking about somebody that had y'all fucked up. Somebody that had y'all in some type of third party that there was interference somebody you may have found out that they were dealing with somebody else you may have found out that you know they were talking to someone and i feel like with this eight of swords that's had, that this has had y'all in a really um a, a period of overthinking you know what went wrong even some of you may be asking yourself where did you go wrong you know um, especially why did they feel the need to move on? Why did they feel the need to go in and deal with someone else? You know, why did they feel the need to, you know, give their wand out to someone else? But we got nine of swords, nine of swords. This is just this person. We out of the eight of swords energy. Now this motherfucker is just fucked up. When you get to the nine of swords, it's like here, the crows have her tied up you see that they're doing all the tying up blinding her and everything but when you get in that nine of swords energy the crows don't gotta do shit you you beat yourself all the way fucking up by yourself but i feel with the nine of swords next to this three of swords energy i don't really feel like this is y'all i feel like for some of you you all are coming out of this heartbreak energy and that's fucking the other person up they're starting to see that they either chose wrong, they pick wrong, because them birds, they, 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 they gone. They away. You know, they're not tying you down anymore. You know, so I feel like, especially with this magician card, the magician ran out of, of magic. The magician ran out of lies. The magician ran out of bullshit. You know, and you're no longer in that energy of letting them have you fucked up. Letting them have you be fucked up, excuse me. You know, you have broken away from those those ties, that they're lies, they're they're gaslighting whatever hat on you, and you're coming out of that heartbreak um mode, and this is them. Because we have ten of swords. Ten is the end of anything. You're done. No more backstabbing, no more betraying, no more lying to me, no more fuckery. Keep your fucking swords. I'm not dealing with it. Now, look at her. She's broke free. You got the eight and the nine right here. Well, she looking fuck up, you know? And with this nine of swords energy, energy excuse me, this person, what they put you through, it, it probably fucked y'all up. They put y'all through it. Through it. But guess what? Pero no mas. You're not dealing with it no more. You're not dealing with it no more. You got four swords energy coming to back that up. A lot of y'all are coming out of that healing phase. Y'all are coming out of that rest phase where you're contemplating, where you're thinking about what went wrong. Why, 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 why? You're no longer in this eight of swords energy. You're coming out with this four swords in reverse. You're freeing yourself. You're like, okay, you hurt me, but it's cool. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. I'm trying to get into my new chapter, my next chapter. Because you want that bullshit like Chicago. Let me see. Let's clarify these three. Okay, so let's clarify the moon and the magician. The moon in reverse and the magician. <sighs> I know. Every fucking day. It's some new shit. Okay, my phone was like, it sure is. Okay, let's talk about this moon in reverse and the magician. Can you tell us more about this situation? What is the moon? Okay, I'm not taking these because these came out like this, but I will take this one. Ace of Wands. Yes, you all were dealing with somebody who was just giving their shit out to everybody. Ace of Wands. Giving their shit out to everybody bottom of the deck four pinnacles while you holding on to them while you seeing them as valuable while you seeing them as worthy and all of that they out here doing x y and fucking z x y and fucking z tell me more the moon the magician and the ace of wands do we have anything else what tell me about this moon mm -hmm. Child, eight of cups, you walked away. 
you like this shit don't fucking fulfill me eight of cups energy is about you walking away you removing your cup from the bullshit and you going out in search of what you are worthy of you going out in search of what is going to fulfill you emotionally because this a shit you know this ain't this ain't this ain't what it what, what, what it is and also because it burdens you you all were dealing with someone something that was lying not being truthful manipulating you and that shit was a real burden on you look at her Whew. i do not like no ten of wands uh -uh. i gotta shake the spot thank you spirit now judgment nine of pentacles let's get into this shit judgment nine of pentacles in reverse spirit what do we have for this judgment and nine of pentacles in reverse what mm. the emperor yeah this is you bossing up this is you stepping into your authority this is you boundarying up not letting people play with you not letting hmm, my phone just went off the moon card yeah the moon and the judgment because now with the moon card upright you're able to see what the fuck is going on the shit is now no more lies things are now being illuminated to you to free you you see her she's free that's what that judgment card is it frees you and you remember who the fuck you are you remember who you are a lot of y'all been letting motherfuckers play y'all that child i'm sorry what i'm sorry what wouldn't get a fucking whiff or a sniff any other fucking day now y'all are realizing yo and i said that with the nine of pentacles in reverse nine of pentacles upright this is somebody who walks on their own a boss you know somebody who is powerful and magical in their own right and then this is what the emperor is emperor comes out so that's what you all are in search of a lot of you all are coming out of cycles where you were manipulated you were lied to you know um people were tricking you people was on that bullshit and you're like no you're remembering who the fuck you are and you're remembering your power you're not letting people fuck with you you're moving you're removing your your love your energy and you're going on to uh places or 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 new chapters new cycles where you are fulfilled People want to breathe fucking clean air. Ain't nobody trying to deal with no fuckery. Mmm, judgment. That just flew out. Child, you got judgment both times. Yeah, y'all was awakened to something. What I tell you with the with the trumpets being uh uh blown. You know, so you have a a a a, a new chance, a new start. You know, a lot of you all are starting your lives over. You all are being awakened to your power, who the fuck you really are. And who the fuck you really are, when you awaken to who the fuck you really are, you also awaken to who the fuck matches that. You also awaken to your counterpart. And I'm not just talking about a relationship, a romantic relationship. I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about fucking anything that there's partnership. You are a fucking emperor empress. And it's time to start acting like that. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's what you were being woken up to. Who the fuck you really are. Now, let's get into this page of pentacles and this four of cups. Thank you, spirit. What we got for four of cups, page of pentacles. Tell me more about this. Thank you, spirit. Knight of pentacles. Lord, here we go. All these pages and these nights. Hmm. So I feel like for some of you, you all could have some energies that you are walking away from as soon, especially after you've bossed up, because you have this emperor. All of this, all of this, um, energy about you you have major arcana you have major cards coming up this is a power um a powerful transition this is a powerful awakening for you all this is a powerful um breakthrough for a lot of you and i feel like a lot of people from y'all's past is going to try to come back you know, while you're in this new phase this new build up and they're going to try to offer you some shit 
You know, they're going to try to, oh, well, this is what, this is what I can do. This is what I can bring to you. You know, this is what, this is what, you know, um, I can bring to the union. Baby, they are knights. They can't bring you shit. A lot of people in your new chapter, it could be people that you've already dealt with and clothed out, or it can be new people. I want you all to please listen and take heed to this. They're going to try to come in on a fucking horse. Sounds so nice. So good. You heard that beep when, when I said that? I, I need y'all to listen. And they're going to try to offer you something because they know what you're building. They know your power. They know, oh, she's in a new cycle or he's in a new cycle. This page of Pentacles energy. We already know they're going to boss up because they an emperor. So let me rush in with my offer so I can get in on it. Mm -mm. With this four of cups energy, you better fucking reject them. You better tell them to motherfucking beat it. No motherfucking Michael Jackson. You better tell them to fucking beat it. This is not, this is not, you are an emperor. You don't need no a knight and an end. No, no, look, look at him. She, she on her, her throne and look, he's he trying to offer her that bullshit. Even a horse like, uh-uh, what, what we doing? We, we, we need to be down into town with the, with the poppers. What we doing over here in the palace? Don't let y'all in y'all's new chapter please do not let the peasants come back they need to offer up the same thing you offer the same thing they need to be on the same level as you and i don't give a fuck what anybody out here to, oh we will work with people oh, what the fuck has working with people got you you want to work with motherfucking people go volunteer you want to go work with motherfucking people go be a fucking social worker you know, go, go, go work at, at the county. Okay. Go get into that fucking life. And then tell you somebody who didn't walked away from that motherfucking life. Like, oh, this is too much. Baby, don't do it. If you want to work with somebody, go fucking volunteer. You are an emperor. Okay. You have been awakened to something. Don't you take your ass back to sleep and allow this person or these people, these energies to come back in with their bullshit. I'm going to just put this right here because my phone talking for me. Ding! And I feel like with that coming off, it already didn't happen with some of y'all. And y'all asses is like, oh, well, I want to I wanna work with them. I, I... Fuck them. <laughs> Lord, I sound like my damn grandma. My mama. Fuck them. You are a fucking emperor. You need to you need to be around people who they can they can give just as good as they take from you. And I tell y'all that all the time. Let's get to this eight of swords and this ace of wands. Hmm. Eight of swords, ace of eight of wands, spirit, please. I might even uh title this damn thing. All right, you you, you awoke to them. Don't you take your ass back to sleep. What's this? The lovers in reverse. Ciao. So we got the magician card, which is Gemini. The lovers card is Gemini. Take it as it resonates. It does not have to be, um, you know, a Gemini person. You don't have to be the Gemini. They don't have to be a Gemini. That's just the energy. And I always put the energy out. But this is about a relationship. And it's in the reverse. The lovers in the reverse. I... It's reverse. I mean, that's self-explanatory. This person is not aligned with you. You know, this person is not on your fucking level. And I feel like for a lot of you, y'all been told that before. But let, let Nick tell y'all. This motherfucker is not on your level. You didn't been awoke to that. And they knew that they weren't on your level. That's why they was motherfucking in a magician spirit. That's why they was manipulating and all of that. Being on that bullshit. Lord, y'all, I got 5% left. I mean, let's clarify some more. I don't think we need to clarify much more, but this is the person that, that's been gaslighting you. Had you in this eight of swords energy. You cloudy. You don't know what to fucking think. You're going through a mental paralysis. You just trapped in your fucking thoughts. Hmm. But I feel like also, this could be them trapped in their fucking thoughts now. And they thinking about... All in times they dipped out on you with this Ace of Wands energy. They was, you know, uh, 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 dipping they shit in somebody else. Fucking off on you. Now, they probably thinking about that. Tell me more about the lovers. 
Eight of Swords and this Ace of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yep. This is you protecting yourself. Nine of Wands is the, is the wounded warrior. You didn't been through uh uh battle after battle after battle after battle and you fighting you fighting hard but this could also be them they not trying to give up on you but you want on the queen of cups you know it's like you have total autonomy over your emotions you know the queen of cups you she's someone who's very compassionate has a lot of love to give you know, I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they see you for who the fuck you are. You didn't came out as a queen, a motherfucking emperor, all of this good shit. The judgment card, all of this, and 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 they knights and 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 pages and all of this bullshit. Eight of Swords. You got eight of swords again. This is backing this up. Eight of swords, eight of swords. I feel like this person had you in a fucked up situation, you know, where they were lying. You didn't know up from down. You didn't know how to call it. You didn't know where you stood with them. You didn't know if one plus one equal motherfucking two and it do. You didn't know if two plus two equal four and it do because they was giving you their own bullshit ass mouth with their uh, magician spirit. Hmm. And they were playing with your emotions with this Queen of Cups. And with this Knight of Wands, it was a battle after a battle. They hurt y'all. I'm hearing y'all was hurt. Y'all ain't been through some shit. And it, it ain't been no ups and downs of a relationship. This just flew out. Two of Cups in reverse. In reverse. You got Two of Cups in reverse. And you got the goddamn lovers in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. The lovers in reverse. You got Eight of Swords twice. I mean, I'm just painting a picture for y'all. Y'all got Ace of Wands, which talks about, you know, sleeping around, which talks about somebody who, who got a new boo. Every time you turn around, they're wandering eye. They want to sleep with this person. They want to sleep with that person. Somebody who's very much so into the physical attraction and not the heart. Not you with this Queen of Cups. Look at you. You just want to give your love. And look at them. They just want to give their little stick or their cooch. And that's why you are in this trapped, this mentally trapped fucking energy because this shit is a reversal. This is not for you. This person is not for you. That's why your ass is wounded. You, you've been battling this person. You've been fighting, fighting through this relationship, fighting for yourself. Nine of swords. Three of swords in reverse. Let's get it. Thank you, spirit. Nine of Swords and Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. We have anything else to clarify? No. Four of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to try to hold on to you with this Four of Pentacles. They see your value now. They see who you are to them now. You know, they see that they shouldn't have fucking played you. You know, because now you walking into that emperor. They always had an idea that that's who you were, you know, but now this is you coming into, you know, yourself. You're setting boundaries. You're not letting nobody fucking play with you. You're sitting rightfully on your fucking throne and they don't fucking like it. Now you're starting to see your value as well with this four of pentacles. You're hoarding all the things that you have to offer. You ain't getting shit else from me. I'm not offering nothing else to anybody that doesn't have anything to offer me. Yeah. You're learning your worth as you're coming out of this three of swords in reverse energy. This talks about healing, coming away from the heartbreak, picking up the pieces, you know, and, and coming out of this nine of swords energy, the nightmares of this, that, and the third. But I feel like um, for a lot of y'all, this is y'all's person in this Knight of Swords energy. How? Tell me about the person. Spirit. Mm. Tell me about... Oh, what am I saying? Tell me about um, the collective person. Yeah, they miss you. Six of Cups just came out right at top. They nostalgic. They thinking about when, when you used to give them all your cup. When you used to offer them just everything all the all, all all everything and more all your emotions all of your things this could be somebody who was a childhood sweetheart somebody you dated for a while somebody you dated from 
from high school or a long time ago or whatever, but we got four of wands. You know, four of wands talks about a foundation. You know, this person was not a good foundation for you. You know, you could have thought that they were. You could have thought that this was somebody you were going to marry, somebody you was going to build a life with, start a family with. No, baby, that ain't them. Page of Swords energy. This motherfucker is very fucking um, immature. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing <clears throat> with the Page of Swords energy, they was giving a number to everybody, trying to talk to everybody, trying to deal with everybody. They was for everybody. They was for the streets. You know, they was for the fucking streets. Five of Pentacles and fucking reverse. They want to come back in. They want to come back home. Y'all have left these motherfuckers out in the cold and they feeling it. It's burr and they want to come out of this Five of Pentacles in reverse energy. They want to come inside. Y'all better not let them motherfuckers in. Y'all better not get them a motherfucking cup of water through the door, a loaf of motherfucking bread, a piece of cornbread, nothing. Thank you, spirit. Page of Cups. Yeah, they're watching you. This person, they, they're they watching you. They're watching you. I feel like for a lot of, hmm, what's that? I feel like for a lot of you, um, they didn't think that you were going to walk away from them, one. And they're watching you, seeing you glow up. And they're also watching to see who the fuck you deal with next. You know, they're watching to see who you get with next. You know, with this six of wands that comes out, what they're watching your success. A lot of these people that you didn't left in the code and now you're in this bossed up emperor um, um, phase, they have to watch you succeed. They have to watch you be successful in love because you're going to find your person. You're going to be happy and they're going to have to watch your success. And it's going to fuck them. I said it's going to fuck them up. And look at what's on the bottom of the damn deck. Ten of swords. That every piece of success you do. And trust me, baby. Trust me. Trust me. I got, I got references that I can provide to you on fucking demand. Every piece of success that you fucking taste, baby, is going to be a knife in their fucking back. Now, they got the knife in the back. Ten of swords right here underneath the deck. But you got ten of swords over here, which is your last card. Under the deck, you don't see that shit coming. They don't see that shit coming. All your blessings, that shit going to eat them up. Look, they on the phone. I'm telling you, they watching you. Ten of swords, four of swords. I think I got 3% right now. Spirit, thank you. Tell me about this Ten of Swords and this Four of Swords in reverse. Let's close out. Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. This was something that did not fucking work out. This is something that a lot of you all gave your all to. Y'all did the most. And they was doing the motherfucking less than, you know. And mm, there you go. And all you got, all the work that you put in, all you got was betrayal, backstabbing, lying. You know, a motherfucker who wasn't on the up and up. All the work that you put in. And all you got was sword energy. Knives in your fucking back. Huh. But now, the ancestors gonna be working hard. To make sure that you get your comeback and it's going to stab them in their back. King of Cups. Some of you could have been dealing with a um, water sign. Mm. Ding. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Take it as it resonates. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. That's you, baby. Queen of Pentacles, you are being self-sufficient. I'm telling y'all, Queen of Pentacles energy. That's earth sign with my earth signs. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, how y'all doing? Seven of Cups. Now y'all gonna have some options. Just like this person had. Now y'all are out here um, exploring y'all's options. Just like that person did. And if you ain't out here, if you don't lace your fucking shoes up. Oop. And take your ass outside. That's spirit. If you don't lace your fucking shoes up and take your ass outside and explore your goddamn options, but take your take your take your discernment with you. 
because all options ain't good for you. But this is you. You know, explore your fucking options. You know, some of you all are coming out with this four swords in reverse. You're coming out of the poor me phase, you know, thinking about how they did you, why they did you like that, why it didn't work out, blah, 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 whatever. You're coming out of that and you bossing the fuck up. Queen of Pentacles, we in the Seven of Cups. And now we exploring our fucking options. Tower. Tower moment. It needed to happen, baby. That was not somebody who was foundational for you. This is somebody who left you beat up in some old shit. Always prepared to fight it. Here we go. We got another fight, another argument, another this. Let me prep for it. Let me this. Just strife. Arguments, eight of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords. God damn. Now we at the end. You don't got to do that no more. Tower moment. Let that shit fall. Spirit is, thing. spirit is literally, literally handing you the fucking knife from the clouds. That, I feel like that was y'all's awakening. All of this shit, ding. All of this shit that was revealed to you, the moon, judgment. I feel like all of that shit, that, that trumpet being sounded, that was spirit coming out of the clouds with the knife. Like, you know what to do. Cut that hoe off. And now you get into your King of Wands energy. King, ooh, yeah, King of Wands, King of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. Now, this wand energy, this fire sign energy, Leo's Aries Sagittarius. So, so far, we got water, we got fire, um, we got earth. We did 